Good morning and welcome to uh, morning prayer this morning. Um, I'm Reverend Amanda. I am curate here at St Polinus, part of the ministry team. If you're new, um, you're welcome. It's really good to have you with us. And if you know me, hello, it's really good to see you. If you'd like the words for a Celtic morning prayer, they're available on the St Polinus website, stplinus.co.uk. Um, on the this morning page, uh, sorry, this day page or daily prayer page, um, but don't worry, I'll, I'll be reading those words. If you'd like to know the readings for this day, it's Psalm 8, verse 6, Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, and Philippians uh, chapter 4, verse 8. As you can see, we have our hearts um, this day. We had a um, Valentine's uh, service on Sunday evening. Uh, where we talked a lot about love so uh, may i commend uh, love to you this day on the week of valentine's so let us uh, begin our prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen one thing i've asked the lord this is what i seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to seek him in his temple who is it that you seek we seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen, Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So our first reading, Psalm 8, chapter 6, verse 6. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. Our next reading from Genesis. Eight, verse 8, chapter 22. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not cease. And our final reading from Philippians. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Our reading now from our daily Celtic prayer. After a farmer plants wheat, he does not lie awake nights worrying lest radishes come up. He knows that it is, is the nature, or we might say the virtue, of wheat to grow wheat. It is the virtue of acorns to grow oak trees. And it is the virtue of prayers that are based upon that which is true, honest, just, pure, lovely and of good report to come to fulfilment. Such a fulfilment is in accord with the inevitable unfoldment of all moral law. We do not have to argue or get excited or perspire over trying to make four plus four equal eight. It is the virtue of such a combination to become eight. It is the law of mathematics, irresistible and inevitable as the ties. In the same irresistible tidal way, trust to the inborn virtue residing in these laws of the true, the honest and just, and the pure in your list of desires, and give them completely to God. Relinquish them into his hands and go off and leave them. Do not worry about them. Don't even pray for them for the next few weeks. Give them as completely as the farmer gives his wheat to the soil, after the soil has been properly ploughed and harrowed. Later on, when the weeds begin to come up, we may well have to get into these prayers with a cultivator and re the soil of our faith a bit. But now go off and leave them entirely and that is from glenn clark i will lift up mine eyes our meditation for this day the unclean spirit 
When an unclean spirit has gone out of someone, it wanders through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then it says, I will return into the house I came out of. And when it gets there, it finds the house empty, swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits, more evil than itself, and they enter in and settle there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. Even so shall it be with this evil generation. Legend says that when Satan raised his giant battle axe against heaven's gates, God's shafts of lightning struck it from his hand. The flaming axe fell into the North Sea and was changed into a thousand acre island of Linda's farm. Through the centuries, this bit of lore concerning God's victory inspired those who lived on or visited the island to keep Satan's power underfoot. Lord, show us the things that are binding the work you have called forth on Holy Island and in other places. Help us loose your work and let it go in resurrection power. We now continue with our prayers for others for this day. Blessed are you, Lord God, our Creator and Father. Have mercy on us. Listen as we pray. Lord, show us your love. Give the world peace, Lord. Still the clamour of war and the cries of vengeance. Lord, show us your love. Let your uh, church strongly proclaim your word of salvation and freedom. Lord, show us your love. Bless your people, Lord, and free it from free us from false cares. Lord, show us your love. Let us wonder at the glory of your creative love and answer the call of this new day. Lord, show us your love. Have mercy on all who have died in your name. And remember those whom we have loved and see no longer. May they share in the peace of your kingdom for ever and ever. Amen. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you. In the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now finish with our canticle, Prayer for Morning Prayer. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ is shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go well, and God bless you this day. <laughs>